Hey guys, it's Mother Minnie here again with Father of Many, Steve. Say what's up, Steve. Hello. So today we're going to do the marriage tag. I've been wanting to do this tag because I thought it was so cute. I saw it first on Amy Actually Vlogs and then the Bearded Man 31. Um, yeah, Bearded, Bearded Man 31. He and the Val did it. Val from the Mind Catchers. They did it. So I figured we should do it. You ready, Mr. Wills? Yeah. All right. The first question. So I guess I'll ask a question and he answered. We'll alternate who answers. Okay. Is that cool? Okay, how long have you been together? <laughs> oh man. You can start. Oh my goodness. Um been married for five years. Um coming up on six years and a total of almost ten years of being together. Yes. Um how how long have you been married? You just said it, it'll be six years in October. Yeah. So. How did you propose? I went out. I was at work, and uh, that's what I do. I'm I'm a worker. I was at work, and I had a break and ended up going to uh, Macy's. And I had been contemplating. I'm like, you know, maybe it's time. So I go to Macy's, and I'm looking around, and I see this nice ring with a nice price. I said, oh, okay. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and get it. So I get the ring. Of course, they had to ship it out and do a couple things to it, um, resize it and, and whatnot. And I was going to propose on Christmas Day in front of her whole family, but she doesn't like a lot of attention like that. So I ended up proposing in the house. Hey, and then she thought I was playing, like, yeah, yeah, he thought I was playing. Like, why would I play? I'm gonna spend all this money. Oh, you gonna marry me. <laughs> what did I say? You just thought I was playing. You was like, whatever, you playing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So she thought I was playing a little bit, so I had to go ahead and boom, open that box up, and that diamond hitter, she caught that, she needed sunglasses, man. It was, yeah, she needed some ray bands in there. That's how you do it. Describe your okay. wedding day in this, five words or less. My wedding day, um, it was a bit nerve wracking because, you know, we all, we had a, a wedding that was, it was pretty, it was very nice. It was at a country club out <clears> in Haymarket, <throat> Virginia. You're welcome. And, um, you know, family from out of town coming, and you know, everybody trying to stay in the same hotel as us because this Haymarket was babe, maybe babe, five words or less. <laughs> Look, do you want me to do this video or not? You gotta do it in five words or less. You gotta do it's five words or less. So just describe it in five words or less. Just five words. Five words? Yes. How would you describe it? Um. I would say fun. It was fun, um, life changing. I think it was um, really, I think it was nice. I think we had a nice wedding. It was, yeah, it was real nice. It was fancy. <laughs> and it was um, intoxicating because he was drunk. Oh, I was turned all the way up. I mean, turned up to the roof. Like when he gave, when you gave the toast, I was so nervous. I didn't know what he was going to say because Steve is crazy. I didn't know if it was going to be too sexual or something crazy like that. Because you just never know with him. He says some crazy I said whatever's on my mind. I wanted to say, oh yeah, you belong to me now. Gosh, okay. <laughs> Describe your marriage in one word. Amazing. <laughs> I would say work. Yeah, yeah, it's it work. work. It's marriage is a lot of work. It is. It's worth it though. I really, I truly believe it's worth it. But it is a lot of work. A lot, a lot, a lot. Why are you backing up? You don't think I'm telling the truth? <laughs> no, you know I got mess with you. It's, I know. It's a lot of work. What do you though. love most about your spouse? <sighs> Everything. No, you got to pick one thing. Let's see, he's he is always giving a cop out answer. You can't just say everything. What do I love most about my spouse? 
Uh, I love your heart the most. I think you have a good heart. I think I think you have a good heart too. But I like her crazy sense of humor because I like the Joan and she right there. You know what I'm saying? And for people <laughs> from the, the area, we're from the DC area. But Joan means to kind of like, how can you describe it? Like talk about people, not like, not like, oh, did you see what she had on? But kind of like, you know, you like, just you find something on somebody that's that that's the most, and then you just you know, or like how he's going gray right here. He's starting to look like Uncle Ben. Like me telling him that that's Joan a little bit. Yeah. What surprised you most about marriage? For better or for worse. Yeah. To death do us part. Like, <laughs> like for to what? Death do us part. I'm right. Like for better or for worse. You think for worse is like just maybe when he gets on your nerves a day and you're like, oh, I gotta stick it out. Worse can be. We haven't even seen as bad as worse can get, but worse can get rough. And you know, our commitment is. I guess also, I think for me, what surprised me most about marriage is how I feel like I've grown in my faith because. I've learned that while I made a commitment to Steve, my first commitment is to Christ. And regardless of how I may feel about him at that particular time, I have to answer to Christ. So if that calls to me holding my tongue, which is kind of tough, or, you know, just, you know, submitting to my husband, it's not just Steve, it's also Christ. So that's what I didn't realize that connection so much when we did um, get married. So. That was the biggest surprise for me. Okay, the next. How many children do you want and what would you name them? <laughs> we already have five in case you don't know. Do you want any more? I wanted one more, but we have twin boys, identical. Oh my goodness. But if we had another girl, we already know we would name her. What? Piper? Yeah. I thought you said okay this time around. We would name a girl Piper and a boy we would name him what, Landon? Yeah. Landon Steven or something like that. So while we don't um if we don't I think if we don't have any more kids we'd be so okay. But if we did have more but kids But it would be easy because if you could Yeah have two at one time and just Oof. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, it definitely it would probably be a breeze. So it's a blessing, but it's it's a lot of work with twins because they feed off each other, they work together. You know what I mean? I ain't never seen two little boys that can escape out of anything. Anything. I ain't never seen it. They I'm out in the garage, they come out next thing I know the door open, they coming in the garage. I'm like, what are you doing? It's just crazy. They bust in my room, I'm in the bathroom, they bust in there, I'm like dog. Yeah, we get no privacy. Uh, so, no privacy. The next question. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. It's 12 questions and we're on number nine. It says, the best marriage advice you received. What's the best marriage advice you received? And for me, the best advice I received was from Stephanie. When she just, she's like real passionate about marriage and just about like dating your spouse and like taking time out. And last year we had the opportunity to go on an amazing vacation. And that was just so, it did, it did wonders for us. What do you think? Yeah, it did. I was turned up the whole time too. Me too. On vacation, but yeah. But it's know. just just realizing that while family vacations are awesome, we've got to have just me and him sometimes. Like waking up whenever we felt like it, if we drank too much and we're hungover, that's okay because we have no diapers to change, no breakfast to make. Um, but for me, that was my best advice. Thank you, Stephanie. My advice was from my cousin. He always tell me to invest my time into my wife and my, and my kids. Who said that? Because that's all that I have. Who said that? Sterling. For real? Yeah. Oh, hey Sterling, if you watch this, thank you. That is awesome advice. Yeah. It, um, number right. 10. <laughs> do you regret, do you regret getting married when you did? Like, would you have done it a different time? I don't regret it. I, I probably, Probably should have waited a little a little longer. Well, how much longer do you think you should have waited? Um, just maybe a few years to get better. You know, I mean, I, we were already established, but More established. we could have just had just like had a had a better hold on everything. You know what I mean? Cause what you were twenty five, and I was twenty seven. I'm older. 
I was 27. And I think, but see, also, we already had like two kids. So that kind of made it a little different. But I think if we didn't already have kids, I definitely feel like we could have waited, you know, waited. Yeah. If you could change one thing about your spouse, what would it be? <laughs> Steve is a sweetheart. And Steve, I could come out with my wig on backwards, my shirt on backwards, not matching, <laughs> and some busted shoes. And I'll be like, hey, how does this look? He's like, oh, you're looking good. But then he'll tell me a few days later, like, he'll laugh at my outfit. <laughs> like, dog, tell, that's why I'm asking you, because I want your advice. He'll, he'll have me walking out of the house feeling like, yes, slay. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I see, like, pictures or whatever, and I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate that he appreciates me. But babe, just be more honest. If it doesn't look right, just tell me. What's, what's the worst, you know? Our boys are crying. It's bedtime and they can hear us down here. So nobody's getting abused. They're perfectly fine. Twins. Twins. All right, babe, we gotta, okay. Gotta give you an answer. What would you change about me? I would change her stubbornness. Like, I like my woman to keep her nails and stuff done. Go get your nails done. I be telling go get your nails done. But you, I need you, you know what I'm saying? Go. If I say go, go. You want it every two weeks. Yeah. And I can stretch it for three weeks. She, stop me in there. That's enough. She, 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 she penny packs. Which is a good thing and a bad thing, but you know, don't pin the pins on yourself. Go get your services done. You know what I'm saying? I like to see artwork on your toes. <laughs> sure. And lastly, what advice right. would you give newly married couples? Marriage is just marriage is a lot of work, and um, it's easy to it's easy to just want to you know give up, but it's it's not, it's not, um, I don't know. I mean, no, it's, no, just, you, you it's, right. it's a lot of work, you know, and you, you got to keep working at it. You yeah. can't just, you know, it's, it's almost like, because marriage, you're learning every day. Yeah. You know? I think um, the best advice I would give newly married couples is to put each other first. Like, for real, like you said, Sterling said, put your spouse, because, and it, and it gets weird because, like, you know, like, imagine your first year of marriage. You have maybe have known your spouse for about two or three years out of your life, but you've known your family for all your life. So your instinct is to kind of go with what they say or whatever, but you really, you've got to stick to your spouse regardless. People have the best of intentions, but you have to understand this marriage is between us. They can say what they want, but at the end of the day, it's between you two. So got to make it work. Whatever yeah. works for y'all, that's all that matters. So thank you guys. Thank you, Steve, for doing the marriage tag, y'all. Click that subscribe button for more videos, and you'll maybe see Father and many more. So, <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Deuce.